hello guys welcome back i am jay suryapal in this video uh, we will solve one machine from hack the box the machine name is shocker so uh, the shocker machine is very much pretty well uh, vulnerability for the different type of attack scenarios we can exploit this machine in the different ways right now in this video i will explain only the single way which i preferred and which i like most and this machine took me to solve only 20 minutes uh, before uh, doing this video so uh, right now we will we will know we will i mean we will solve this machine and learn the new vulnerability exploitation how to exploit a machine uh, with a, with a type of specific vulnerability right now i will uh, have been boot up into my kali machine and uh, I logged into the hack the box machine. I showed you previous in the previous videos how to create, uh, I mean, how to connect the hack the box VPN servers and uh, how to. Uh, and recently, uh, I will keep a link in the description that uh, we done a video on Kali uh, Linux installation with using low specification cpu features i mean to say if you are having a low configure pc you can also install kali linux like a pro and you can also use the uh, kali linux machine for the hacking purpose in this video we will solve the machine shocker uh, here it is and the ip address is 10.10.10.56 we will scan a uh, first nmap and then nikto if there is any it port running there then we will run nikto because nikto is vulnerability web vulnerability scanner right and we will do directory brute forcing there yeah when uh, nikto is web vulnerability sc uh, scanner as we will do after nikto directory brute forcing with using gobuster tool gobuster is one of the specific tool which was recommended by the oscp i mean offensive security because the gobuster tool was uh, simply awesome because with using extensions also we can dig more into the uh, hidden directories so right now i will open the nmap scan for this uh, machine i did it uh, previously the nmap scan result is here the AT port is open here and the service Apache HTTP 2.4.18 is running here and the vo version of SSH is 7.2 the port is 2.2.2 yeah right now we will go first to solve this AT port and if there is there any known vulnerability we will try to exploit there if not we will try to exploit the SSH version and try to gain access as a root in this machine okay right now i will run the uh, nikto scan as i told if there is any at port running uh, running on the machine on the target machine then we will run nikto scan here i have been uh, already nikto h h is for the host and the host ip address is 10.10.10.56 the scan is in the process the scan will complete uh, i mean the nikto scanner will take much more time to dig more into into the vulnerability scanning of the website yeah right now we will do directory brute force as i told i did earlier uh, the directory brute force also with using go buster tool the command is here go buster dir it means directory brute forcing it employs and uh, u is for url and the url is http http and the ip address is this word list i'm extracting i mean using this common.txt word list to brute force uh brute force the website and uh, the result i got here is dot hta 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 access ht pass wd and cga bin interesting cga bin yeah we can see here the status code is 400 uh we can't access the cga bin it was restricted but there is a chance in this uh, we can also learn a tip from this video is how to bypass unrestricted access i mean to say if we try to access this ip address with using the cgi dash bin cgi dash bin it will restrict us yeah it was it was not fetching any data here because as we are not authorized to access this directory 
in this circumstance there is a chance to bypass this directory by you by brute forcing the next directory which was present in this if you are not understanding what's the video as i am going to do brute force for this uh, cga dash bin is uh, this means that if there is any uh, any directory here which was accessed by us then we can easily bypass this 400 not 3 st status sorry 400 and not 3 status so I have run the directory brute forcing and it was taking see here the complete directory brute forcing has been completed right uh, we got the result here the similar result which there is a 403 status code and if we see here there is a 200 status code here user.sh is a file is a, a bash file which we can access so if we if we enter this uh, this path in the uh, web url user.sh then it will download one file which is a small script if we download it and if we extract it content type uh, content type pa parameter is there and just an uptime test script it means we have access to this directory so ultimately this is vulnerable for shell shock because cga bin is type a directory is type a uh, directory file which the normal user can't get access into that file because they, it contains a uh, uh, sensitive file which it belongs to an organization here ultimately we will try first uh, cell shock vulnerability because here we can access cga bin uh, directory right so we will try a cell shock vulnerability by using uh, by using burp suit as i have been introduced to you about the burp suit in the previous videos if you are if you are not watched that video i will mention the link in the description you can go and watch there and uh, learn how the burp suit will work and what does it mean so right now in this video i will open the burp suit and i will try to exploit cell shock vulnerability okay so we want a cell shock vulnerability reversal payload for this exploit yeah i didn't remember it uh, when uh, once we will uh, google it if we got the result then it might be better for us there will be no false positive right so shell shock shell shock vulnerability payload uh, shell shock user agent vulnerability payload uh, if we open this see once uh, there might be a payload here yeah there is a payload but it was using curl uh, we are using we are using burp here in this video not using curl so we will check we will search for the payload and uh, we will try to implement with using that payload and uh, we are going to get reversal here after getting reversal we will do the post exploitation ultimately it called uh, privilege escalation then yeah once we will check uh, what the payload shell shock reversal reversal okay in this field i mean uh, in this cyber field uh, habituate to read about the blocks because blocks contain the numerous knowledge about uh, security because uh, i am i am a person who always want to study the articles and blogs and uh, books because it gives much more knowledge and uh, yeah i obey practical knowledge is very much important that it gives much more knowledge to you but the theoretical knowledge is also important right so here the payload is we will copy this payload we will copy this payload and we will paste uh, we will use for our exploit yeah we will use for our exploit okay it is much more easy to use curl but uh, 
wantedly i want to show you how to work with bobsuit because bobsuit is type a, is type of software which we can exploit uh, which we can use which we can use for the bug bounty also and this type of vulnerabilities are numerous uh, in the in the today's website uh, today's world's website i mean uh, this type of vulnerability can be easily find out and it will give you a lot of money by exploiting this type of vulnerabilities yeah we have been copied the payload we will use for our exploitation purpose so right now we have to capture the packet in the burp and we have to use netcat here nclvp as i told l for listen v for uh, verbose and p for the port port 1234 i'm going to use and the ip address of our local machine is 10.10.14.10 .10 so right now i will capture uh, the request of this of this uh, web page right now the intercept is on and i'm going to make a call so i will send this to repeater repeater and I, i'm going to turn off it i will use here the user dot sh right uh, you, the CGI bin is not accessible. I I mean we are not uh, authorized there. So user dot sh is accessible file uh, which we can access there and we, which we can uh, gain reversal here. The nmap uh, I, sorry the and netcat is running in our machine. We are going to use the payload. We are going to use this payload, cell shock payload, which we found here uh we will copy it we will copy it and uh, we will use in the user agent parameter user agent parameter is quite vulnerable for uh, cell shock vulnerabilities and uh, we will change to our port here 1234 and we will change to our ip address our ip address is 10.10.14.10 right 10.10.14.10 and uh, we will make a call here yeah boom if we are right we have to get the reversal and we got uh, we got the reversal from the target machine i mean from the uh, victim machine we got a reversal here and we are in the directory of uh, uh, user lib uh, lib means libraries and cgi bin we will get back uh, to with using cd and cd we will see whether we are uh, yeah we are not the root here because we, we got the reversal by using shelly shelly is uh, one of the user here and uh, we will go home and we will see the flag of the user.txt yeah cd shelly ls and uh, cat user.txt okay we got the user flag and we are not the root here right we are not the root as we have no authorized to get into the root directory if we see here if we see uh, once um, once i will show you uh, ls here is the root and uh, we are trying to get into the root shell and we are uh, the system was denied our permission the system was denied our request so we have to exploit here with using uh, post exploitation i mean privilege escalation so we have to do here uh, a privilege escalation so we will uh, do this privilege escalation from the lower level to the higher level first we will see the inside the system is there any misconfigured file uh, is there any pseudo file is there any local uh, local vulnerability outdated versions are running uh, we will see and we will take the help if we are not get succeed here we will take the help of linux exploit suggestors and uh, further so, uh, tools which uh, the tool the tools will give us an idea to exploit uh, privilege escalation here so once we will check uh, the sudo version here once we will check sudo l and uh, here we can use user shelly may run the following commands on shocker as a root user shelly can run this command so by using this command we can see is there any uh, privilege escalation technique so by googling it we can get a uh, privilege escalation yeah there might be 
there might be a technique to privilege escalate with using this pearl okay uh, the same the same scenario here we got what we are facing in our uh, machine and if we use this command we will get reversal from the root see once i will copy it properly copy and i'm going to paste here yeah so we got reversal from the root if i press id and it will show the root user id is root who am i who am i and we are root okay then we have access to enter into the root and we can ls and cat root dot txt okay the flag is here which we can submit in the hack the box and uh, we will submit we will submit here in the hack the box the user and the, the root flag okay user flag is this and i will submit in the flags parameter paste and this is much more easy for me the shell shock is my favorite vulnerability exploitation which we can exploit it within minutes right so and the root flag is here copy and i'm going to paste in the flag okay and i'm going to give the rating and the congratulations root is now org so in this video we have uh, solved machine shocker a linux based machine with using shell shock vulnerability and there is much more techniques and much more pathways to solve this type of machines but in this video i have been explained uh, only the one way which i like more and thank you thank you for watching and uh, support us follow our community